Yo, what's up, mother truckers? It's your boy, Dragod. About to show you how to install some video games. All right, check this out. You want to install some mods? All right, I got you, fam. You install it on Oculus app? All right, cool. You install it on Steam? Hey, that's fine. If you have an Oculus Quest, it'll work. If you have Link, Oculus Link, connect to your computer. Or if you're wirelessly connected to your computer, it also works as long as it's installed on your computer. I'll show you how to install mods on your computer. You ready? Okay, let's go. All right, first things first, check this out. All right, this is Vortex. You install mods with this, all right? It'll automatically install mods for you. So you just download this, make sure you're signed in, you're registered, and you have an account on Nexus Mods. You click latest download, okay, perfect. Manual, great. All right, then we click manual, wow, that's amazing. When you get to this page, make sure to always click slow. You never have to pay to use Vortex, no matter what. So, try not to get scammed. Shit's fucking wild out there. Make sure to have an ad blocker too, you know? Who doesn't have ad blocker? Get, get ad blocker. I recommend uh, you block Origin. So, do that. Alright, now Vortex is downloading. Perfect. And uh, we've confirmed that the uh, installation works on both Oculus app and Steam. Currently, if you have a Steam link if on Quest or if you have an, just a regular VR headset, it'll work. Doesn't matter. People have wondered how to revert back to an earlier version. So you could only do this on Steam. Now on Steam, you want to right click your Blade and Sorcery and then click Properties. And then once you get to Properties, then you go to Betas and then you see this drop down arrow. You'll see that um, you could opt into a U update 6 version or update 7, or you could do the newest update, which breaks all mods. I wouldn't recommend it unless you wanted to try the new update out for Blade and Sorcery. But I would just not mess with it if you want to do mods for uh, Outer Rim, because Outer Rim is supported with 8.3. So that's how you revert back to an earlier version, only on Steam. Cannot do it with Oculus app, unfortunately. All right, and we're, we're gonna install Vortex real quick, and uh, it's gonna cuck us again once it gets to the end. Watch, ready? And cucked! We got fucking cucked! Vortex is loading. So now that Vortex is open, just click the login or register button, and it should prompt your browser to open and authorize and connect to your current account that you made on the browser. So just click authorize and boom. Fast and simple. Now click games. All right. Now scroll down, find your blade and sorcery game. Now here's an issue people had. When I clicked manage, it automatically did it for me, but when people did it, it said that it couldn't find it. So I'm going to show you how to manually set the installation location, all right? So you click the plus, go down to manually set location, okay? And then from your PC, you go to local disk, all right? If you're on Steam, you go to program files 86, you go to Steam, and scroll down steam apps and to common and then click your blade and sorcery folder and select the folder that's how you set your location if you're on oculus app just click manually set location all right and then local drive and then regular program files into oculus and to software software and then locate blade and sorcery folder and then select folder again. It's as simple as that. Now, now that we have Blade and Sorcery mounted and managed, we're ready to mod it. So let's go get us a mod. All right, now games and then Blade and Sorcery. Perfect. Um, we'll, we'll sort by popular of all time. Perfect, and there's the Outer Rim. Great, let's click it. All right, so we're on the outer rim and we just click Vortex. It'll bring us down to here. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, click slow download, no matter what. Never have to pay for anything. Just click slow download. Download will start. Perfect, perfect. It'll prompt a, a thing. JS, just click. Remember my choice for this link. It'll always open these links in Vortex for Vortex. Boom. So yeah, this is going to take a year to download. Um, all right. So we're, let's go look for another mod. This time we're going to install it manually. So manual installation. Pretty fun. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're just going to download these butter stabs. Apparently pierceable everything. Um, I like piercing stuff, so we'll click manual download. All right, save. All right, now that we downloaded butter stabs, we have to extract it. And it, the folder comes in a zip format, and Windows has a built-in tool that extracts it for you. But if you don't have it, um, you could download WinRAR from RAR Labs. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about that, but you don't you honestly don't even need it because you just double click it And it'll open it up for you. So um, Just take that Take that file You see the butter stabs you see it go inside. Okay, take the folder and drag it into the streaming assets folder on either oculus app or Steam w Whichever one that your blade of sorcery is installed to there's gonna be a streaming assets folder so just drag it into there. I already showed you how to get to both of the streaming assets folders. Uh, so yeah, we were done installing butter stabs. Um, and let's see. Yep, outer rim is still going. Got a little bit of time left for outer rim. All right, outer rim is finally done. Oh my God. All right, so now that you're done downloading the mod for whatever the hell you're doing, just click install. Easy. Easy peasy. Click mods. You'll see a list of your mods that you have for your game. Hype. I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Let's get some more mods, shall we? All right, we got three mods. Let's go ahead and download these manually. I'm not even going to bother installing this one. All right, sweet. Both of the mods are downloaded. All right, and Mjolnir, boop, and next snap, and boop. Perfect. And let's check. All right, let's enable it. All right, sweet. And now it should all be good. Let's give it a try, shall we? <laughs> Oh my god! Look at this place! It's Star Wars! Wow! I really feel like I'm gonna get assassinated, you know? Like, Order 66 style? That's awesome. Where the fuck do I go to activate anything? Do I, do I go- Oh, can I go up there? Ah, uh, yeah! Hello? Little experiments? What the fuck? Yo, Pog? Alright. Okay, I want, um, what do we want? What do we want? What the? I don't want you. I'll take you. And, um, take one of you guys, and this dude. I am the Sith. So it seems that it's working, which is really nice. Just 
seems like it's working. Ugh. Where are they gonna spawn? I'm fucking scared. I hear them. You bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm surrounded. Get him. Can't shoot me with my shield up, can ya, ho? Huh? Huh. What? Really? You're not gonna shoot me with my shield up? Oh, f what? I'm trapped. Oh, fuck, my shield. Oh! The moment my shield went down, they let up. Wow. Motherfuckers. Wait, I wonder, do we have... Mjolnir? Yes! Myself. Holy shit! What the fuck? Dude, I'm lagging. Holy shit. <sighs> Alright, as you can see, the mods work and everything's good, so heck yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad uh, everything worked. Um, Everything should be good to go. Everything's good. If it doesn't work, then I don't fucking know, man. Bad mod or bad installation or something, dude. Just try it again. Keep on trying. Be sure to double check if the mod is supported. And, uh, yeah. Drop a like, help, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Share the video. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.